Our countdown of myths, lies, and downright stupidity has reached number six. Avoid all radiation. That's certainly the message we've been hearing from the media. Everyone I touch is poisoned. Hollywood films have long portrayed radiation as evil and powerful. It'll all be over in a second. It gives this man the power to kill anyone he touches. Fear of radiation was widespread even before the U.S. dropped bombs on Hiroshima and Nagasaki. In Japan, the blasts themselves killed more than 200,000 people, and many others died later from radiation exposure. 30% of the city's population was killed, some by radioactive gamma rays. And the New York Times wrote article after article about how radiation would change Japanese lives for centuries, that there would be genetic damage, defects for the next thousand years. But surprise, so far no such damage has appeared. Yet we have grown up with the fears that radiation would cause all these deformed children. Some researchers, like toxicology professor Ed Calabrese, now say blast survivors who were exposed to smaller amounts of radiation are living longer than normal. And in small doses, radiation may even be good for you. How can any of it be good for you? It's all in the dose. What's going on at low doses is often seen to enhance immune performance and enhance longevity. Researchers exposed these mice to small amounts of radiation and concluded it may have slowed their aging. The irradiated mice had more energy and shinier fur. We find that at low doses, you can actually extend the lifespan of the mice. What you're saying is that a little radiation works kind of like a vaccine to protect people? That's true. It's why in Europe, some people now bathe in a radioactive water, saying it's good for them. And this was a uranium mine. And in Montana, some Americans spend time in these old mines where they breathe in radioactive gas. There's got to be something to it, because we both feel better when we leave here. We sleep better. Now, many scientists say this is nonsense or dangerous, and it's yet to be proven that low-dose radiation is beneficial. Jack. But they do agree that the hysteria about radiation is hysteria. Get everybody into safety areas and make sure that they stay there. In 1979, the movie The China Syndrome set the stage for panic. What is it? An accident at Ventana. Just weeks later, a nuclear power plant in Three Mile Island, Pennsylvania, released radioactivity into the air. People fled. I'm just going to go as far as Harrisburg for right now. Please stand by with your doors and windows closed. And many people thought the real bad news was being kept from them. It's a lot worse than what they're telling us. Typical lies. In truth, the people living in the area were exposed to an average of 6.5 millirems of radiation. We now know that's meaningless, given that every year all of us absorb about 30 from the ground, 26 from the sun, 10 from just one dental x-ray, 10 from food, 5 from our own drinking water. The reason the general public is afraid of nuclear energy is because of the scare campaigns of groups like Greenpeace. Patrick Moore co-founded Greenpeace. He says he's not surprised that people fear radiation. It's because they are being told over and over and over again through the media that they are going to be damaged and, and, and killed by radiation from nuclear power. Moore is now at odds with his former friends. He's now a consultant for the nuclear power industry. Not a single person is being killed in the nuclear industry and people are wanting to ban it. it it's, it's pure scare tactics. But what about that accident at the Chernobyl nuclear power plant in the Ukraine? It terrified the world. There are unconfirmed reports tonight that as many as 2,000 people have died. The Washington Post headlined 30,000 deaths, 40,000, worse than the A-bombs, they said. And how many people did die in Chernobyl? I know it was in the tens of thousands. I don't know, 50 or 100,000. On Earth Day this year, people told us that radiation killed thousands in Europe as a result of Chernobyl. In truth, a study by eight international agencies found 56 people were killed, mostly firefighters and workers at the plant. Thousands of other people may still die of cancer, but nowhere near the number that was predicted. The study says the biggest health menace the people of Chernobyl faced was psychological trauma, in part from fear. The fear was worse than the radiation. So next time someone scares you about radiation, remember that you're exposed to it all the time, without harm. And some people even want more of it.